Question 16. What is SQL Direct? What is it used for? Answer. SQL Direct is used to execute command dynamically using output of other activities. This activity allows you to execute commands which other activities in the JDBC don't allow, like DDL command create table. Question 17. Can you change a value of a global variable at runtime? Answer. You can change the value of a global variable when you deploy your project in TIBCO Administrator. See the section on modifying runtime variables in TIBCO Business Works Administration for more information on using TIBCO Administrator. You can also specify values for global variables when starting a process engine on the command line. To do this, specify the following as a command line argument when starting the process engine. Tibco client var dot variable path and name value where variable path and name is the name of the variable you wish to set including the path to the variable if it is contained in a folder value is the value you wish to set the variable to for example if you have a global variable named item 1 contained in a folder named my group and you wish to set its value to 500 add the following argument to the command line when starting the process engine tip code dot client var dot my group slash item 1 500 Question 18. What are the modes of TIBCO BW installations? Answer. GUI mode, console mode, silent mode. Question 19. If you have installed a particular version of TIBCO software, for example, TIBCO BW X, Y, Z, what are X, Y and Z number stands for? Answer. Integration can be at different application layers. X patch, Y major, Z minor. Question 20. What is the role of TRA? Answer. TRA stands for TIBCO Runtime Agent. The TRA has two main functions. Supplies an agent that is running in the background on each machine. The agent is responsible for starting and stopping processes that run on a machine according to the deployment information. The agent monitors the machine. That information is then visible via TIBCO Administrator. Supplies the runtime environment. That is, all shared libraries including third-party libraries. Question 21. What are the resources that gets included in the EAR file created by the TIBCO designer? Answer. An EAR file can contain local project resources, library builder resources, and files as specified in alias library resources. In addition, the TIBCO designer class path may include references to other files that are included in the EAR file. Question 22. What are the different modes of service invocation? Answer. Services can be invoked in several ways. A one-way operation is executed once and does not wait for a response. A request response operation is executed once and waits for one response. In a request response service, communication flows in both directions. The complete interaction consists of two point-to-point -point messages, a request and a response. The interaction is only considered complete after the response has arrived. Publication. Notification means an operation sends information on an as-needed basis potentially multiple times subscription means incoming information is processed on an as-needed basis potentially multiple times Question 23. What are the TIBCO BW activities that can participate in transactions? Answer. Not all TIBCO business works activities can participate in a transaction. Only the following types of activities have transactional capabilities. JDBC activities, JMS activities, Active Enterprise Adapter activities that use JMS transports, EJB activities, TIBCO I process business works connector activities. Question 24. What are the different types of transactions TIBCO provides? Answer. TIBCO Business Works offers a variety of types of transactions that can be used in different situations. You can use the type of transaction that suits the needs of your integration project. When you create a transaction group, you must specify the type of transaction. TIBCO Business Works supports the following types of transactions. JDBC, Java Transaction API, JTA, User Transaction, X, a transaction. Transaction. Question 25. What activities are supported in JTA transaction? Answer. The Java Transaction API, JTA, User Transaction Type allows JDBC, JMS, Active Enterprise Adapter, using JMS Transports, EJB activities to participate in transactions. Question 26. What are the options for configuring storage for process engines checkpoint repository? Answer. The options for configuring storage for process engines checkpoint repository are local file, database, fault tolerant engines can recover from a checkpoint only when database is used. 
Question 27 Process engines in a fault tolerant group can be configured as peers or master secondary. How do these differ? Answer The options for configuring storage for process engines checkpoint repository are peer means all of them have the same weight. In this case when one engine fails another one takes over and continues processing till it fails. In master secondary configuration weights are unequal. The secondary starts processing when master fails but when master recovers secondary stops and master continues use processing. Question 28. What are the three scenarios where BW engine must be configured with database persistence instead of local file? Answer. The three scenarios are shared variables across BW engines, locking across groups in multiple BW engines, wait notify across BW engines. Question 29. If you want a group to be executed if there is some unhandled error but subject to some max number of iterations which group do you use? Answer. We can use repeat on error until true. Question 30. When is a generate error activity useful? Answer. When you handle an error inside a called subprocess or group and want to re-throw the error to the caller. Happens by default. If you don't handle the error in the called process, 